Hello guys, it's Anish Vijay with a small tutorial on how to make um, TNT flicker like this and how to make a door turn on this axis. This tutorial is suggested by someone, so I'm making it so it'll rotate on this axis. And the texture is not wrong. In my animation, the texture was wrong, so it looked like he was opening the door on the wrong side and the handle was here and the, <laughs> the door rotated like this which was kinda awkward and okay so let's get to the tutorial first let's do the uh, TNT part so let's get a new cube and you should already know the basics of Minecraft if you haven't watched my modeling tutorial watch that and you should know how to get the textures in and everything so make it Minecraft size so make 100 on each and click on it, make it editable, face select. I'm just gonna do the top of it, not the sides. And you, yeah, so everything else is repetitive. You just have to do the same thing. So click on the texture over here. And actually, we need to make a new texture. So let me delete that. I'll make a new texture. Actually, click on the color of it copy the top texture and then if you want to go to the, your new texture and click on color and paste that in here and go to luminance and paste that in luminance actually no just on luminance and just put it at 70 over here don't need to paste it and then you get this whitish looking texture and now you want to go to the zero frame frame 0 and you want to go to the tag of the material that you placed on the TNT and just hold control and click on this small bubble like thing here then you want to just drag the whitish looking top texture onto the material and then go to the fifth frame and then hit the bubble again while holding control and then we want to as you can see now it should turn white which is not happening for some reason so let's see what's happening yeah, it didn't work. Drag in your whitish texture and hit hold control and click it and now it should work. Yeah, yeah, now it's working. Uh, okay, so now drag, uh, click and drag and select these keyframes and hold right click, copy, go to the 10th frame, paste, 28th frame, paste, and do this 8 times. And because the TNT flickers 8 times before it explodes. So now when you hit play it should flicker just like that. And if you know if you don't if you want to know about how to make the emitters and how to make the particles explosion thing, just watch my creeper explosion tutorial. It should show you how to do that. So now how to make the dough. Um make a new cube. Let me just delete the dough right. Okay. I'm gonna make a pretty realistic do uh Minecraft looking dough. Uh, with my just watch my modeling tutorial you should know how to do that after well what am I doing okay so click on your cube go to object x at 100 y at 200 z at 18.75 because the dough is 3 pixels wide I didn't know that so uh, now drag in your textures so how to do the textures it's a bit different you get this dough and then you wanna uh, you wanna crop this oh sorry wrong side yeah you tr you want to get this from your terrain PNG and you want to crop this as a side these three pixels as a side of the dough and this top of the dough and you want to save these at the uh, correct names and then the bottom and the, the, the side this side you can do this and just click on this tool over here and click on that and then go to your pencil and make it one over here and just fill in that gap there and then you should have the side off your dough and now we want to go to image and image rotation flip canvas horizontal and save this one as the dough back and now we should load those in here and go to make it editable select the front of the dough drag the front drag the back here and drag the sides and everything and you should just do that yeah and now we have the texture I'm going to so as you can see there's like a gap here I'll fix that and I will put download of this dough for you guys um, 
now we just need to move the axis to the right uh, left a bit so click on object mode and go click on this axis tool to move the axis and just move it to like this this point over here and if it's not the right place it's okay um, you can just move it again until you got uh, you're satisfied and now just deselect it and now you should be able to rotate it along that axis yeah so yeah that's about it and now I want to show you something pretty cool you can use this if you're having problems texturing something uh, so I'm just gonna put the door texture on it oops put the door texture on that and click on the door texture and if you put this at flat uh, and uh, say you want it to be the correct size or something no just take this as a different texture don't I'm just gonna show you the basics of the flat it was pretty helpful for me and I'm gonna show you what uh, how do you, to use it so click on the dough and the cube and click on this texture tag here and the cool thing about this is you can actually move the texture like this and as you can see another dough appears and we don't want that say say we don't want that and you go to tags and uh, off tile and now it should just yeah do that but yeah I don't know how to get rid of that but you can use it in pretty different ways I guess you can rotate it you can rotate it even like this and yeah that's how you do that and um, yeah so Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I make, I'm making a new animation. I think I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but and I'm going to be working with this guy called Oblong Sausage. Um, make sure to check out his channel, and we plan on working with each other on a, a music video, and we might be checking out on this new on a different software called Maya. You should know about it. I know everyone is talking about uh, which software is the best. Maya, Cinema 4D. And I think I might have to check out Maya because everyone's saying it's better. So I'm going to check out that software and compare it. And the best Minecraft animations have been made in Maya, like the Minecraft parodies. And the. the, the and Avatar was made in Maya also but the problem with Maya is that it's pretty complicated and yeah and it's kinda difficult to learn on your s by yourself it's almost impossible Cinema 4D it was pretty easy to learn by myself I, I learned it pretty easily um, yeah so that's about it about Maya and yeah so thank you for watching um, yeah and bye